Hello everyone, this is Khalil Shaheen from NCS Training Center. We are a training center located in Toronto, Canada, and we provide online or on-site training on Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. This is my contact information. If you have any training requests, you can drop me an email or you can give me a call or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Today, we are going to answer Alex's question again. Alex had another question for us. And the answer to his question is the change log entries. Alex would like to know how we can trace who changed what in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. For example, a user deleted a item or customer. He would like to see who deleted that item or that customer. A user blocked a vendor. He would like to see this vendor who blocked that vendor. So the answer to that is the change log entries. It's up to you to record every change log entries in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. For certain tables, you can log the insertion, the modification, the deletion of data. For example, GL account, we change the description or a user changed the description of a GL account. Who did that change? What was the old value and what's the new value? Another user unblocked a vendor. Who did that change? and when, why this vendor was blocked. Let me show you this in the application here. I'm logging in to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. And the first step to trace the changes is to go to the change log setup. From the change log setup, you have to activate the change log first by setting it on and you have to select the tables that you want to trace. Notice that you can use the control home to go to the first table. And from here, you will be able to see the insertion and the modification and the deletion that I was talking about. For example, I want to know who is changing the payment terms. Notice that after you set up this here and after you close Microsoft Dynamics Business Central and open it again, then you will be able to trace and know these changes. For example, all the fields in the payment terms, if any of the fields are inserted to this table, or any of the fields was modified in this table, or any of these fields was deleted in this table, then I will be able to know 
who did that and when I can select the table and either I can select for example the country who is inserting new country to Microsoft Dynamics Business Central I don't have to select all the fields I can select some fields and I can select using the assist button which fields that I want to log you see here for example I want to log the insertion of the code and the name only so I can enable these two fields the same thing for the modification for example not only all the fields I can select some fields and I can select list of the fields that I want to be able to trace for example I want to select the modifications for these three fields okay that's good so the first step always is to set up the change log by defining the tables and if you want to log the insertion the modification or the deletion or all of these fields or sorry all these transactions I want to log them for a certain table for example if I go to this item table here I want all the fields to be logged when I insert new item all the fields will be logged when I modified any of the items but I don't want to log the deletion this is step number one you have to keep in mind that the more tables that you select here the slower the system will be and the more data that you will have in the change log entries and this might slow things down for you and you will have more data if you have lots of table to set up in the change log setup these tables will slow your business central down and you will have unnecessary log information so it's better that you select only the critical tables that you want to trace this is number one now let me show you the change log entries notice that I, I missed the A here but still the search box will search for the change log entries and remember always this is tip here to sort by date and time descending so you will have the most recent change and you will see the table and you will be able to see the type of change if it is insertion if it is modification and then you will be able to see the old value and the new value and remember again that this will start kicking on after you exit your business center and login to business center again that's it for today so the answer to your question alex is to check up these tables the check le change log entries setup table and the change log entries to know who changed what and what time and what was